Hello world, welcome to the 61st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the second video in my LEGO EV3 um, playlist. And in the previous video, the first one of this playlist, we installed EV3 dev onto our brick. And then we used this putty to SSH into the brick. So in this video, we're going to play with the large motor, which looks like this, okay, and the infrared sensor and the remote control. So first, let's SSH into our brick. So I already have PuTTY open. So you type in EV3Dev. Make sure you watch my previous video to watch along. Okay, so the default is robot, and the default password is maker. Now remember, in Linux, uh, passwords don't type out. So if you think you entered it correctly, press enter. All right, we're logged in. Now, depending how your installation went on the previous video, you will have to find your myproject.py folder. So first, do an ls. And my project.py is right here in the root folder. If yours is in this my project folder, and folders are blue in Linux, you have to cd my project. And now you can see my project is here. Then type in ls and see if your my project.py is in there. If not, and yours is in the root like mine, just press cd and you're back to the root. So to edit that, you type in nano myproject.py and it'll take you in the code. So we're going to go over the large motor first and we're just going to run it by itself. So first you import ev3dev.ev3 as ev3. That way you can just reference ev3. We're going to use time so import time. Ignore all these commented out code so focus on the one that's white. So first we're going to say the left motor is equal to ev3.large motor and then we're going to pass it this ev3.output underscore b. Now if you, I have mine connected into right here, b, bravo, that's where I have my large motor. So if you have two motors, like you had a right one, you would input this one just like that. So next I'm going to print a program ready so I know when it's about to run. Then you do this left motor which we established here. Dot run forever which is one of the methods that the large motor has. Then we're going to pass it speed 500. So speed underscore, underscore sp equals 500. And so you can go from 900 speed to negative 900. So basically that's 900 degrees in one second. That's the top speed. Negative 900 is backwards. So, and if you had a right motor connected, you could do that. Then we're gonna sleep for two seconds and then we're gonna stop the motor. All right, pretty simple. So to save your file, if you just typed all this in, press pause if you're still watching this, is you press Control O to read out save it, then control X to exit. Now to run the program we're going to go python3 space myproject.py and I'll show you how it works. So there you go. So the large motor ran by itself for two seconds and it uh, turned off as you saw. It says program ready here. All right, so pretty simple. That's how you uh, run it. So now we're going to install this infrared sensor right here to the bottom of the brick. And we're going to put it in one. So now we have a large motor connected to B and we have the infrared sensor connected to input one. 
All right, let's go back into our folder. Now you can do Linux shortcuts by pressing up and it'll run through your last couple commands. So let's go back to nano project.py. All right, this time we're going to type in this rc1 variable equals ev3, which we imported here, dot remote control. Notice the capitalization of R and C, and then channel equals zero one or channel equals one. And as you can see here, these uh, channels right here, if you click this down, there's this little red uh, circle here that has these etched in numbers. So all the way up equals channel one. All right, leave the left motor as it is the variable. Okay, now we're going to print this program ready, just like we did down here. We're going to do a while loop. So while true, if RC1, which we defined up here, dot red up. So if you go here, there's a red side and a blue side, an up and a down, an up and a down. If that red is up, then we're going to do the motor run forever, just like we did in the previous. If I press the red down, which is down here, then we're going to stop the motor. And it's just going to keep doing that until we exit the program. So let me comment these out. So we don't need the sleep or the motor stop because we've already put that in our while loop. That's about it. So control O to save the changes to write out. So press enter to save it. Then we're going to control X to exit. Then we're going to run the program again. So I pressed up to get there. So it says program ready. So I have this large motor. I'm going to press up. And now I'm press down and it stops. If your green light doesn't turn on, try replacing the batteries. So press up. And then press down and that stops it. One more time. Press the up button and press the down button. There you go. That's the large motor. And this is the remote control. So to keyboard interrupt, you do control C. All right, keyboard interrupt closes the program. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in Python programming and robotics like this. And uh, leave a comment if you're also working on some EV3 projects. I would love to see it. I know uh, some interest fell off in about 2017, and I'm hoping to revive it in 2020. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.